In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite ways to beat the cover three defense from the bunch tight end in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping you become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you want to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies in the community, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it allows you to get access to every tip that I release here on YouTube. Now, real quick before we dive too deep into this video, this is an excerpt from my Bunch Tight End ebook, which I believe is probably one of the top offenses in the Madden community right now. And you can actually combine this with the uh, Bunch and the Trips Tight End offset out of the Jets playbook, and it makes it super, super effective. So if you want to get either my Bunch Tight End ebook just by itself or my Bunch Tight End New York Jets bundle guide, both of those are available in the description for you to be able to pick them up. All right, guys, so the play, uh, it really doesn't matter what play you call from this. I personally like the tight end corner, but you can also use uh, the PA boot over. I'm going to show you both versions of this, and this is basically against any cover three, um, it, pretty much any cover three in the game. So I'm going to share with you cover three sky from 335 odd, and literally what I'm going to do here, it's actually really, really simple, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to streak the tight end, and then we're going to streak the square receiver. So we're streaking the X receiver and we're streaking the, uh, the square receiver. Now, the cool part about this is you can still roll out. Um, like, for example, if you want to double team this defensive end, you can still easily get out of the pocket here um, and have an opportunity. As you'll see right here, as long as you have a good throw on the run, you're going to be able to hit this. And as you saw right there, I, didn't, I wasn't able to get the, the great, most accurate pass in the world. But if you work on this a little bit, and 3-3-5 three, three, odd does do a very good job at, at basically containing the quarterback on this because of the nature of the formation. But what you're going to see is you're going to see that this square receiver, if I'm going to sit in the pocket here, if I pass lead this all the way to the left side with a gunslinger quarterback, you're going to see that it's going to absolutely torch the cover three defense in the game. Now, the next thing that I want to share with you is a way to do this from the tight end corner. So if I wanted to use the play tight end corner, I could also use that as well. I'm just going to streak the square receiver, streak the tight end. And then I personally like to smart route the um, the post route to, Devon, uh, to the circle receiver. And what you'll see is you're going to get this same kind of combination here. You're going to see that that square receiver, and it, it does a little bit better because of that corner route. And basically, you just need to get that corner route out of the way. So if you just simply put him on like a flat route, um, it, it doesn't really matter what you put him on. But as long as you put him on something, you're going to notice that this... And the cool part about bunch tight end is the concepts in this are actually super, super crazy that you can do. And that's why I think bunch tight end is probably the most underrated offense in the game right now. But that's what I'm looking for right there. As you see, he gets over the top for a nice, easy dot. Now, one other little simple adjustment that you can do that will sometimes help this coverage beater uh, a little bit is you could put that square receiver on a fade. So for example, if I go to the play tight end corner, I'm gonna put that square receiver on a fade, and then I might take that triangle receiver there, and I might just simply put him on a smart routed out route, very similar to the flood concept uh, from the gun bunch. And what you'll see here is that fade in combination with that out route, you're gonna have one of the two open. As you see right there, that smart routed out route gets open. And like I said, if you flat route him, you know, the flat route does wonders uh, for this. And I'm going to show you one other concept that you can mess around with a little bit um, to use to beat cover three from this formation. But real quick, let me show you this with the with the, uh, with the the flat route here. So as you see here, we've got that flat route and that fade concept. And now you see that's exactly what we're looking for. He just kind of glitches out. And as you can see, you get over the top very easily for a one play touchdown. So those are very simple ways that you could beat the beat cover three from the bunch tight end. The cool part about bunch tight end is it has every major route in the game that you need to be successful. And I think that is absolutely huge. Now, the next thing that I want to share with you from the play tight end corner is a very interesting little coverage beater. So we're going to still streak the square receiver. We're still going to streak the X receiver. We're just going to happen to motion that triangle receiver uh, right here. And we're going to kind of snap him right about here. And what you're going to see on this play is you actually glitch, you com you'll completely glitch out that deep third even more so on this side of the field. And let me show you what I'm talking about one more time here. And I'm just, you are gonna need a little bit more time for this one, but it's a lot more separation that you're gonna get. So again, all we're doing is we're just streaking the, the X receiver, streaking the square receiver, and then we're smart routing the circle receiver, and we're gonna motion the triangle receiver to the right, 
and snap him right about here. You're gonna see that it's gonna create kind of a natural little scissoring action. But what's gonna happen is that square receiver is going to absolutely torch the outside third. As you can see right there, it's an easy one play touchdown. So these are three to four different ways, different methods that you can use that will absolutely kill cover three. Um, in fact, if you wanted to build a concept around the tight end corner, Another thing that you could do, let's just say you wanted to do this, um, is you could streak the circle receiver, okay? Um, you could take the tight end, and honestly, you could do anything. You could you could basically, let's just block him for sake of the video. And let's say you wanted to do more of a max protect setup, you could do that as well. I mean, you see this combination right here, and again, I'm just gonna motion that triangle receiver from right to left. It's the same concept, it's just from a different target every single time. And if they go to the circle receiver, you see you have a nice dot over the top to that triangle receiver. So it's a very, very good passing concept that you can use. And I mean, you literally just work. I mean, you can just work the ball up and down the field at will with this bunch tight end. Most people don't realize that there are so many concepts and so many ways that you can beat the cover three from bunch tight end that it, it truly is very difficult for the opponent to play cover three. The problem is they kind of have to play cover three to be able to stop some of the things that you're doing from other, other plays as well. So anyways, this is a little bit about the bunch tight end. Now, if you want to get the full scheme and my full tutorial on how to run the bunch tight end in Madden 21, I would encourage you to get that bunch tight end ebook. It's just 15 bucks and it's in the description. The other thing that you could do is if you wanted to get the New York Jets guide that has bunch tight end, trips tight end offset and bunch in it, um, that's available in the description as well for just five more bucks. You're gonna be able to get the whole playbook breakdown which shows you bunch, bunch tight end and trips tight end offset. So if you wanna get either one, they're available in the description. I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you have any questions, you can always text me. My number will be available in the description.